here in just a minute. Will it be Aiden with four color control or Blaze with Storm? We'll find out here for you over the next hour or so, I imagine. Could be less, though, if Blaze is really feeling it with that Storm deck. Again, remember Philadelphia two weeks from now. That's when Throne of Eldraine release weekend. Actually, it's going to be three weeks, I think. Mm -hmm. Three weeks. Throne of Eldraine release weekend is going to take place. And that'll be fun. But we are not there quite yet. We still got a lot of Throne of Eldraine preview season to check out. And Aiden's going to very quickly send it back. We'll see if Blaze wants to keep his hand. And it looks like he does. So while the 16-year-old from Philadelphia, PA, does a little bit of mulligan and thinks about his Philadelphia Eagles. Big game tonight. Against Atlanta. And against the Atlanta Falcons in the Dome in Atlanta. We'll talk about SCG Premium very quickly here where you can read some great articles by the best that Magic has to offer in creating content. I'm talking Patrick Chapin, Ari Lax, Jerry T, Brad Nelson, Todd Anderson, Chaz Andres. New article going up tomorrow. It's a banger. And you can head over to go.srcgames.com slash premium, get signed up, get exclusive content, add free experience, and uh, the free account that I get as a contributor to Star City Games actually sucks in comparison ah. to the one that you can get yep. because I'm getting chiseled out of a 5% discount mm -hmm. on SCG mm -hmm. purchases. You will not be over at go.starcitygames.com slash premium. There he is. Company man. Where's my backpack? Right yep. <laughs> Company just man. Chiseled in every direction. Yep. Just less and less of a chance of you getting a backpack as every broadcast occurs. Yeah, you and keep every, saying that, every, but as it every appears ad, to be every zero. Every ad is red. It appears to be zero anyway. Here is a ponder. If you went one show without asking it, asking for it, I have gone multiple shows. That is shows a with, lie. I've gone multiple we shows. We have the tape. And I challenge you to go back to the tape of the last show. I have things to do. I I'll get into not ask. I will get and then I saw, Rob on it. I said I saw you had the you had the gall. You had the nerve to tweet out that if Ryan Overturf won the Grand Prix that you'd give him a backpack. Yeah, you bet I did. You know so what? they're there. So they're uh, there. Are they? Obviously they're available. Or did I know that Ryan wasn't gonna win? I don't know. Which one? I wanted him to, though. I thought maybe I'd give him a little extra motivation to pound those people with Monastery Swiss. I don't get the sense that Ryan Overturf is the type of person whose motivation could be purchased with a backpack. <laughs> well, he never <laughs> doesn't I, give off that sort of vibe. <laughs> Another preordain here by Blaze. Ooh, that's a nice one. Some mana. Dark Ritual and Lotus Petal. God, I gotta imagine one of those is good. Okay. Let's draw this one. Pass the turn back. Aiden does have a force will. So what Blaze is, I think, looking for now, you just need a discard spell to carve the way. Four copies of Duress. Four yeah. copy. No Cabal Therapies. No Cabal Therapies. Just Thought Season Duress. Yeah, yeah. I guess at this point, the array of interaction in Legacy has become varied enough that you're no longer in, yeah, you just Cabal Therapy Force of Will. Some people have, like, Force and Negation. Yeah. Like, I think you were, you were pretty sure what to name before. Now you're more yeah. guessing. It's interesting. Preordain number three. Two cards will be sent to the bottom. Draw a card. Duress was found. It's a good way to start it up. So this is the question now. Do you want to duress this turn, or do you want to wait for duress and do everything in one shot? You'd prefer to, to set up your discard spell for the when you're going to be doing everything, because what you have to be concerned about here is if you duress and uh, Aiden responds with a brainstorm, shows you nothing, mm -hmm. then on... Aiden will untap and draw a card. Now Force of Will can be there. If you are able to duress first in, in a sequence where you're going off, Briar can no longer uh, hide that Force of Will productively. That is an Arkham's Astrolabe. I mean, there's a Scalding Tarn, Beatdowns. Well, Cabal Ritual is the draw. There's a ton of mana over there. There's at least one discard spell, but I think there's two. Now it's just a question of is there a payoff card. Yeah, this 
Mm, interesting. I mean, if you're opening up a brainstorm, it suggests that there's some element missing from the hand. That's what it feels like, right? Now, t to be fair, not underneath a lot of pressure, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> yeah. it, his insect does not, does not bring the beat down. No. It's not coming with the heavy hitters. So you've got plenty of time to sculpt, as it were. Unless you wanted to open up this way to have threshold. I don't know. Probably doesn't matter. I imagine that Blaze's hand here is good to go. We know he's been holding on to some discard spells. Yo, they should bring threshold back as a mechanic. Threshold? Yeah. Mm. Let's get that back up in here. I think it's uh, not impossible. I like that mechanic. I think it's on the low end, but uh, it's not an F. I could see it coming back one day. We don't always got to bring back cycling. No, we don't. <laughs> we, we do not. <laughs> Here's Brainstorm. What's going on here? I mean, I, he doesn't have Infernal. I mean, we just found Dark Petition. So much mana. Yeah? He's seen a lot of cards. He, I mean, we might have to discard soon. There's Dark Petition. All right, put those on top. We have a land to play? Take a little peek with the discard spell? What are we thinking? There we go. What's up? All right, that's easy enough. All right, two forces. Yep. Yeah. I got to beat two. Well, now I only got to beat one force. Storm does that all the time. Bink. Colagon's command, Snapcaster Mage, Force of Will. Eh, yeah, a little snappy. Well, I guess you can't play it because then your, your defenses are down. You could K command, I guess. What do we do there? Deal two, make you discard? Yeah, I that's, mean, I, gu I guess. Uh, that's, I mean, that's <laughs> not... It's not good. I look, guess. Look it's, not, look, it's not good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bzz. There you go. Let's get it down and dirty in here. It's not pretty, man, okay? Yep. We're going to discard the Thoughtseize? That means we must have another one. Oh, yeah. If I'm eating, I'm like, oh. oh. You're, I mean, he, I'm like, oh he knows he's oh, not getting no. another turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make this one yeah. count, you know? Oh, no. Make it count. Draw a card. Beat down to your 10. If you draw another Force of Will, maybe you got a shot. Well, I played Trop, so didn't. Don't think I would have played a land. No, because you need to Snapcaster Colgon's command if you somehow get another turn. Ah, fine. No, you're right. You're right. Yeah, you're there's, right, nothing you're right, you're right. there's nothing to bluff here. There's nothing to bluff. You're yeah. right. You're right. Brainstorm. There's a Thought Seize, an LED. Okay, a so he has, ritual. he has a thousand mana. Yeah, approximately. And he has Dark, he has dark a Petition. Discard spell. Yep. And all you got to do is find a way to not get killed by the Colgon's command or have the last card stripped out of your hand in the process of going off. Correct. That's it. Or you know what you can do? What can you Just, do? you know, go ahead and give it another draw step. Who even cares? <laughs> it's, got a, it's, got, it's got no cards to draw. It's got no action. Duress you. Aiden's got no action. All right, get that out of here. All right, here we go. Okay. Let's okay, stop, Blaze. Let's stop screwing around here. Blaze, I like it. Let's get out the tokens. Now, just remember, Blaze... You have to go off around the Colagon's command. Keep a card in your hand. Yes. Other, otherwise, don't go to two. Otherwise, this could get really, really awkward. All right. Cabal Ritual. Lion's Eye Diamond. See, this is where it gets... Okay, Lion's Eye Diamond. Oh, no. I think, yeah. I think he's... Oh, my God. See, this is what I'm, ta this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This... I mean, here we oh, go. Oh, no. Here we go. I mean, this, this is this is when Aiden fires in response to that other uh, in response to that LED. That's literally when he fires Snapcaster Colagun's command. He has one card left in his hand. Yeah, I mean, you. There's no way it can be. Your spot can get oh, any better than no. that. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh me! Oh my! Oh no! I mean, you know. Aiden's thinking, like, the last card in hand, if it's ad nauseum, can cast it at instant speed. If it's a uh, pass in flames, it just goes anyway. But what else are you going to do? Well, you have no other choice. <sighs> yeah. I mean, yeah, just make him discard. Bull one of those up, make him discard.
Okay, well. Oh, boy. It looks like Aiden's going to steal this one. Yep. Unless, okay, he, peel, unless he peels Pass and Flames. Pass and Flames can still do it. I mean, he knows what's on top of his deck, so you got to crack that. Yep. Go get a red source. But can still easily win from this spot. Yeah, can. Can. Hey, you know what? Peel out on him. Yeah. Yeah. Put on a good show for the people at home. Peel out on him. Yeah. He's a t it's a two-outer. Maybe Aiden's peeled force. That would be nice. Here we go. Nope. nope. Cabal. Not it. Aiden Breyer. You got to steal game number one here over Blaze Kohler. Four-color control up a game over Storm. That's going to be a tough one to bounce back from. Yeah, I mean, now hey, Aiden taking that one. Uh, we go to the sideboards here where he's got a lot of upgrades to make. We'll start with Blaze. Two Veil Summer, two Abrupt Decay, two Flusterstorm, two Chain of Vapor, two Hercules Recall, two Echoing Truth. Empty the Warrens, Xantid Swarm, Massacre. Talk to me. Uh, Xantid Swarm and Empty the Warrens seem pretty good here, uh, as do the uh, Veil of Summers. Veil of Summers strike me as very good. Flusterstorm I could be talked into also. Other side of things here for Aiden. Three Pyroblast, two Surgical Extraction, two Leovold, Emissary of Trest. Here come the one up fun ofs. There's seven, eight of them, actually. One, two, three, four, eight of them. Krakus, Hydroblast, Grudge, Force of Negation, Plague Engineer, Pithy Needle, the Veil of Summer, Crop Rotation. Lot to like here. Three copies of Pyroblast, two Surgical Extractions, two Leovolds, a Force of Negation. Uh, all just excellent upgrades for Briar to make over the creature removal and board control measures that don't do a whole lot in game number one. Gotta win the games you're supposed to win. Got yep, to. That's a painful one to let get away. That's a big thing in Magic. You gotta win the games you're supposed to win. Gotta win the matchups you're supposed to win. Gotta win the games you're supposed to win. It's possible that Blaze had just never played against Interaction before. But you gotta win that game if you're trying to win this tournament. Yeah, I mean, it's all, you know, that spot, it's all face up, you know? Yep. So... All right, folks, Players' Championship is what we're going to show you real quickly here. Maybe the last time uh, we have an ad for you this weekend, so bear through it. We'll see you in 30 seconds. It's been a while, but I feel like I've seen this movie before. Pass the turn back. Is it a top deck? No, oh it's a god. god. Pendlehaven. Pump and attack? Is this real? No. December 13th through the 15th, twitch.tv slash SGG Tour, which is where you are right now. You should be there in December as well. Players' Championship, 16 players. $50,000, one champion. Papa Jola said, I'm talking to you. Yes. Talking to you right now, Joe. Haven't seen you for a while, buddy. Used to hang out with us on the SGG Tour. Too good for Especially us now. Especially during Legacy. Yeah, too good for us now, huh? We'll see you, we'll see you at the Players' Championship. Rent's due. We'll see you there. <laughs> Don't tweet at me now either, Joe. I'm not accepting your tweets. I was looking for some miracles action here this weekend. Yeah. Joe would be playing that snow deck. Blue white snow for sure. Yeah, blue Just white cast. snow. You know what he'd be doing? Cast Astrolabe, draw a card, Venture it. Maybe he would find a build with Snowfall. Have you seen Snowfall? Snowfall? Oh, yeah. What All is Snowfall? All time great. Is that a magic card? Uh, I believe that's the name of it. It's a pretty fun one. I'm suspecting that it's not fun now. Yeah, I found it. Okay, hold on. Go. Do we have that? We got that in the bank. Now with Inter the return. Intern Rob's on it. Yeah. So this is oh, a good look one. at the artwork. Okay, here we go. Tune of Blue, Communal of Upkeep Blue. Do you know what Communal of Upkeep is? Uh, okay, so Communal of Upkeep is initially it costs one blue, then two blue, then three? Yes. So okay. Communal of Upkeep means that whatever the upkeep is... 2x, 3x, 4x over Yeah, time. is that what cumulative means? Cu yeah, cumulative. Cumulative, yeah. yeah, okay. More or less. Got it, yeah. Thanks. Islands may produce an additional blue when tapped for mana. This mana is usable only for... <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so it's like a perpetual motion machine, but for, for cumulative upkeeps. Snow-covered islands may produce either an additional double blue or an additional blue when tapped for mana. That mana is unable... Is usable. Excuse me, is usable. Only, so, wait a minute. So it's got cumulative upkeep, and it's a mana flare for cumulative upkeeps. So but if you, you want to... You can't use the blue mana for anything you wanna, else? If, if you... Well, no. I mean, no. <laughs> Well, sort of, sort of. Yeah, so you can, like, so you. <laughs> all right, wait, wait, forget it. Wait, what? Well, now we need to go digging. Well, if you're gonna do this what? other thing, and also the art's really great. Uh, and if you want to go digging through the snow stuff, I'm sure there are. Uh, for a, a reality twist, I think is a cumulative upkeep card. Now this is where it gets complicated. Let me just make sure here. Looks like both players are keeping. We're going to have to put your reality twist on hold there, partner. Here's a ponder. No, that's not the reality ripple, maybe? Oh, no, it's reality twist. We'll get to that when we can, if yeah. there's a break in the action. Ponder here from Blaze. That card literally is just you get mana for to pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't use it it's a for game, anything it, It's a game object that makes mana for itself. Okay, so this, uh, this one is... This one's pretty cool with Snowfall, in theory, except that your <laughs> islands... Oh, no, this one is the one that works with your islands. Yeah, so you can just be mono blue and play with this, and then you can screw up your opponent for a period of time. But unfortunately, even with Snowfall, eventually the cumulative upkeep of this... You, you can't you, chase it you down. You go 4-8-12, <laughs> <laughs> like, even if you curve out the right way. <laughs> and it's hard to keep it up even if you have a personal mana flare only for itself. <laughs> Snowfall was, I loved it as a child. Yeah, because yeah, even, even then, even then, I was like, this sort of seems like a card that only makes me like and only pay for itself with, <laughs> which is true. Draw a card with the Astro label. Aid. Now they just give you these, this kind of, this kind of corny yeah, garbage. Yeah. That's just powerful and works. Yes. Back in the yeah. day, back in the day, you had to make it work with snowfalls. Here's a brainstorm for Blaze. Two, three. Duress lines, I diamond and ponder are the draws. Two cards headed back to the top of the deck. Snowfall's nice. Snowfall is hilarious. You know there's two designs in Ice Age that are cumulative of keep their lands don't work. Naked Singularity is the artifact. That one also messes up blue. But Reality Twist, they keep that way, so it works with Snowfall, I think. Nice. Really nice. Yeah. Hell of a game. Wasteland you. Thanks. So, presumably, Kohler's Brainstorm locked. Good read on the situation there. Oh, no. We fought. Oh, well, I'm just going to fire this Ponder out there. We have no mana left. Some risky business. Keep. Had it. Back to Aiden. How are you going to fit Wasteland into a four-color deck? I like it. The Labe. Yep. Tropical Island, pass it back over to Blaze. I think he picked up a copy of Preordain. I mean, Got to probably just get an island here and try to keep going. Keep finding some more lands. Hopefully find a basic swamp. There's the basic island. It is really funny, uh, I think, that, you know, Wizards of the Coast made Cold Snap many years ago, set inspired by Ice Age. And they brought back the Snowlands and some some uh, some really heavy snow synergies um, in Modern Horizons. Have you actually ever gone through the Ice Age file? No, of course The not. notion of drawing multiple sets worth of inspiration from that Oof. one is... Oof. We're done. Leovold is nice. That is nice. It's a tough card to beat. Yeah. Blaze is in some trouble now. Pack for three for Mr. Breyer. Next up is Brainstorm. Renin six among the cards that I believe Aiden has found. 
Three, three. Each opponent can't draw more than one card each turn for a deck that has Ponder, Brainstorm, and Preordain. This one can be tough. Whenever you are permanent, you control becomes a target of a spell or ability. An opponent controls, you may draw a card, discard, among other things. So Leovold, if you can get on the battlefield, actually quite good in this matchup. Also a blue card to remove to Force of Will. This Brainstorm is done resolving. This is Renin 6. That's right, there's a Salt Eye permanent and a Gruel permanent on the battlefield. Wasteland you. This is getting tough here for Blaze now. I think Aiden Bryan might actually pull this off. Blaze is going to discard a Past in Flames. I think he may actually pull this off. Yep. He'll plus, get back Wasteland, play a Brainstorm. He'll draw one, and two, and three. Thoughts he's among them. Thoughts he's pretty nice right now. Get, get an idea of what Blaze is actually working with. See if he can actually poke a hole in that hand. Yeah, the information has a lot of value in this spot. You know, uh, is the the bottleneck going to be? I mean, almost certainly the uh, the element that Blaze's hand has that you need to attack is the mana, because blue cards. I guess with Leovold on the battlefield, maybe you wouldn't have seen the blue cards, but good chance there's a lot of rituals and such hanging out in this hand. Three LEDs, abrupt decay, dark ritual, dark ritual duress. So what this hand was missing was a payoff. Well, the good news here for, for Aiden, among other things, is there isn't even a place for this hand to go. Mm -hmm. Even if uh, Blaze were to draw a black mana next turn, it's just a bunch of mana. So, uh, you know, you have some some nerves with that thought sees on the stack of, well, they could show a hand that's rolled up in a couple of different directions that's maybe only missing black mana to be able to do something. This hand is just, it is a dead end even if black mana unlocks it. Looks like he took an LED. Now he's going to fetch for a snow-covered island with that polluted delta. Your follow-up is the Labe draw. And it looks like gonna pass, maybe. Well, that's gonna make things even more difficult now for Blaze. Mm -hmm. Because he's gonna lose all of his Lion's Eye Diamonds. His hand is starting to get picked apart here. You see the Abrupt Decay, the Dark Rituals, and the Duress. I don't even know if I would take it out of his deck. <laughs> I mean, isn't Lion's Eye Diamond worse than the average draw step here? It doesn't really matter very much, I suppose, but... It's like a pretty bad draw step, but I think leaving one might be a little dangerous. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I get what you're saying. Right. Like, if, like he drew, if he drew LED next turn, you'd be like, LOL, is it right turn? Right. Yeah, so I, I get what you're saying. It's just more mana that doesn't do anything, and that's where uh, Blaze's hand is long anyway. So. Sure. I suspect... Not that it matters very much. I think Aiden's... Well, I'm not sure what Aiden's asking right now. I think he's wondering if he played a land, perhaps? Ah, they're confirming life totals. Okay. So I was going to say, he definitely played a land because he fetched a snow-covered land. Mm -hmm. So that's not a question. I think there's some elements of, of the format that have not caught up to the presence of Renin 6 just yet. For example, I really question, are you sure you want a cyborg Xantid Swarm anymore? You really want to put another Dual Land or two in your deck and uh, try to get over with a one this creature? No, I don't like it. I don't like it. I think it, yeah. I think it might be time for 
play some more basics and have defense grid in your sideboard, something like that. Defense grid or like silence something. Yeah, I mean, like right. you got you have to change. The terms of engagement are so much different because of this planeswalker. I mean, that's I, why we saw. That's why we see giver of runes instead of mother of runes. The now. big thing I think from from where I'm sitting is just you got to figure out if you're going to end up playing a lot of turns against these decks. In post board, they're going to interact with you more. You know, there's no way to avoid it. You just got to play with more basics. There's yeah. no way around it. You've got to be able to make, put an island onto the battlefield, put a swamp onto the battlefield, and start playing magic from there. Uh, the the spots where where it looks like Blaze has got himself in the most trouble in these in these games have just involved. I just drew an underground sea and it died, and now I can't get off the ground. Yeah. Ponder here for Aiden. He shuffled, drew a mystery card, has a Hydro Blast in hand now, going to play another Ponder. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if the Storm deck could itself play Astrolabe. Yeah, I was thinking I about think that. I think you just build around that, that card, too, if you wanted to. Just play a bunch of basics. Yeah, potentially. But, you know, in the, the wider picture, though, uh, there are a lot of lists that look like they have not fully appreciated the scope of run in six in the format. And Zandit Swarm just sort of stuck out to me like a sore thumb. There's Wasteland. Here comes Leovold. Pass the turn back. Underground see the draw. So it's still a lack of a payoff card. You know what Astrolabe is also dope with? Hercules Recall. Oh, a combo deck. Just re up. Yeah. Bang bang. <laughs> You joke, but I would try to. I would, I would at least kick the tires on that experiment, at the minimum. And Blaze is going to sacrifice a Delta. Probably going to search for the basic swamp. Oh boy, that's risky. I need to buy you. That's the green mana for the Abrupt Decay. Here's the black mana. And this will allow him to get one shot at it. He's going to target Leovold. Well, Leovold's going to trigger. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, come on. <sighs> oh, no. Oh. Come on, yo. <laughs> That's not okay. Oh. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. Oh. Fail of Summer in response to an... Oh. Yep. Okay. Oh. Okay. Seen that? I've seen it once and I can't unsee it. Oh. And I'll draw a card. <laughs> oh, dear. I asked earlier for a... What, what's the best veil? That's the best Just veil. Just saw it. I'm going to trigger the of old. Oh. I'm going to do this. <laughs> And then I'll tap it, <laughs> I'll tap it my point at the top oh. of my deck, and I'll say, and I'm going to do this. Oh, no. Oh. Delete the tape. Can't keep. That's tough to yeah. watch. That resolves. Not safe for work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's a shuffle up, I guess. What a... Giant Ooh. beating. That was that was tough on the eyes. Mystery card coming, all right. I mean, you can be a you can be a fan of Aiden Breyer and feel uneasy about that. <laughs> oh no, actually, I for there is no mystery card coming, right? Because ponder, you shuffle, yeah. you don't get to. It's all bad. It's Aiden Breyer. Aiden Breyer is your champion. He's your 